Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigval here, welcome back to our video. So Dawn of Apocalypse is back and yeah, the secondary account is also back because I haven't played on this in a while. But uh, we, we have Dawn of Apocalypse yet again and look, at, at this point I, I just barely want to play it anymore because I'm getting nothing from it and it's not even fun to play because we don't get artifact bonus split. Like look, I've been asking for this for years. Also, imagine people be like in the comments, Sigval, can you say this to Narrow Elms? They, they listen to you, no they don't. Do you know how easy it is for them to make artifact bonuses split to the entire team? They did it between patches when it came to um, like the Mr. Free Soul, right? Because people were mad because that was backtracking on the artifact bonuses applying only to the character wearing the artifacts. And they saw people were very upset with that and they changed it. Mi no update required, like mid-patch in the middle of two updates. And they, they can change this, they just don't care. Don't care about your opinion or mine on this regard. Also, Deathstroke is kind of bugged. Oh, I don't even know why I'm using Dora Snow Globe here. I guess we're gonna get a special two here. The clones just are not gonna survive without any health, and with no passive stats, I'm not gonna get any health. But it's still better than just having base Deathstroke. Unless he dies on Tagging, which could happen. Oh, I forgot it has one more part to that. My bad there. But yeah, he's bugged at the moment. He doesn't get uh, power generation from critting. Which is most definitely unfortunate. Also, forgot where the glasses. Gonna put them on after this fight. But yeah, gonna squeeze as much as they can out of base that stroke, and after that we're kinda done with this fight. Our special two. Okay, still going. Yeah, that's about it. We took about 50% of his health away. And this man's got the power box at level 10, but he's got no gear, so he's not gonna do much damage anyway, but he's kind of the best option I have here. We go third special that it's Almost 500k. Quite proud of that third special. I'm trying to play this optimally, though, again, it has no points. Though against this man, his AI seems unchanged, as with the um, other Soul Raid that just passed, the uh, last contract, I feel like after the update they kind of buffed the speed of the enemy AI. Here it looks normal, at the very least we got that. But yeah, this is a Soul Raid where you don't have a chance to get the Legendary at the end, even though that chance has not been too kind to me. The artifact bonuses don't split, so you're stuck with power box on your damage dealer, and you don't do that much damage overall. Just, just an awful experience, and I really liked the sword when you released. I really liked it. I thought this would be the bar to which we would compare the soul raids, but it's, it's the other way around. Good thing it's only for five days, and also it, they said that they are going to release uh, the new Solid in April. So I'm guessing it's only five days because as soon as this ends, the John Constantine Solid is going to be released. The only good thing about artifact bonuses not splitting is the fact that they don't have to equip an artifact on every single character. I just put power box on Batman the Drowned, and uh, that's it. Also, I have no idea how much damage I'm going to do here. I have a level nine power box by the way on this account, not a level ten. So my bad on that one. I'll see how much damage we can get. I'm not expecting that much. I'm not expecting to kill this man, but I'm expecting to get kind of close to it. My secondary account got a bit nerfed after the new update because no Batman Ninja team, and I barely have enough teams to go around on this account. So we'll see how we um, replace that. But for now, I'm just gonna do my best to do as much damage as I can to this man. But look guys, we do so much damage on the swipe attacks, Firebox is such a great artifact. Look, unironically, it's a pretty damn solid artifact for Arena and Champions, but not for Soul Raids. Like, a Firebox is an artifact that I wish everybody had, because it's just fun to use with the teleportation and stuff, but other than that, it doesn't do much. 
And yeah, this damage is garbage, like 6.5 after super move. I think in the last contract I did all the way up to 14 or 15 mil with Batman the jump with this setup. I think it was with Crown. And over there I had level 6 and a level 4 god killer go rounds. So the passive attack was kind of the same that I get from a level 9 fodder box, but in exchange I... It's literally like I'm playing the last contract, but I forget to equip an artifact on Batman Underground and I have the God Killers on the other two characters at this point. Which yet again sucks. I think we're going to activate two more times, also a third time, but that's gonna be like heavily reduced duration. Because we are gonna run out of time. And yeah, there's no way this man is dying. Like, to get the gist of how much damage you're kind of doing, you can, like, look between the power bars that he has. So right now, with one activation of Batman the Drowned, I do, like, 75% of a power bar worth of health. Would be actually fun if the uh, health of the bosses would also be delimited by the by some bars, so you can get a better idea of uh, at what pace you're killing the enemy. My bad. Oh no, is the stun! And we have 28 seconds left, so I, if I didn't get stunned here, I would have actually gotten a decent amount of time out of the passive activation. And yeah, the power box kicked in, and it cleansed the debuff. So it's kind of pointless right now. Oh, I forgot that the animation is a bit longer. Yeah, we're not gonna get to activate it. So yeah, my bad. We would have done a bit more damage if I didn't mess up there. I don't even know if I have the tools to clear this uh, without using League of Anarchy. How much health? Oh, that's rough. That's definitely rough. So I have Powerbox on King, obviously, and I have Just League Flash. So we're going to get a lot of swipe action here with the Powerbox, and those swipes are gonna get to fast tech hits. We're going to make it deal three times the damage because we got flash. Crazy synergy going on here. Honestly, flash feels a bit more smooth in terms of his basics. They feel more meaty. Oh, do I should not have used Flash, because if I can't use Batman Ninja team, I'm gonna use Flash, which I'm not gonna do anymore because he's in this team now. Well, rip. Got the level 1 fodder box on Dr. Fate to get that infinite combo going. Most likely no need to tag out here, but we're also power generating, so it doesn't hurt. I think I need one more third special to get into final form. And with final form I mean glowing hands, full path, if you want to call that. I don't think I pressed that button though. Now one more third special. There we go, full stack, let's build a fat combo. I'm going to do a high combo super move. Oh boy, 6 mil. Look at that. A lot of damage there. And look at if we crit on the swipe, we're going to do almost 750k on a kid. That's just insane. I hate the sword rate so much. Okay. 
Do I think we got him low enough to the point where I can clear with this revenge team or something? There we go. So, um... Yeah, we can definitely clear with anything at this point. I'm going to use Firebox Black Hand to clear this. I think he can easily do enough damage. Hopefully. I used to use this guy a lot with Firebox back in the day when Dunpocalypse released. And I think I'll still find this enjoyable. Hopefully. What? I thought they fixed it to the point where you leave no window in your combo to get combo interrupted. I guess they didn't really. My bad there. Can we, like, power steal? Is that bugged or I'm just unlucky? There we go. There we go, finally. Nope. Yes. Yeah, it's normal at this point. Nope. And tag out. That didn't kill Shazam. He's got no passive stats. I guess he's a real tanky boy. No idea why the Destro clone took so, so much damage. Bro, can you like die? Like, we had fun. I, I enjoyed this fight, but it it's time to stop. Th there we go. See, so you just have to ask them nicely. Let's take a look at the rewards now. Oh boy, amazing rewards. Look at that. We got Sub-Zero in the meta human amulets. Nice. I really don't feel like dealing with this tier of bosses again. But there we go. So we got this one. Who negates damage from swipe. Has crit and lethal resistance. And has a reflective shield. So the team setup is going to be a bit weird. We have Raven with uh, Claw for us. This, they said it's fixed. They said it's fixed, okay? And it has a chance to stun on swiped. So we're going to try to get her stunned because obviously if she's stunned, she can no longer use the shield. Arlie's got Dark Metal cards because I would rather be able to crit than have all those passive stats. And EPI's got the power box for whenever she needs to tank super move. But for dealing damage purposes, we literally got zero passive stats on this one. First, we need to power generate a bit. Okay, there is a stun. I think you can also stun on jumps, can you? I don't remember that exactly. There we go, now stun. Capitalize on that. Now stun. I don't even really want to tank with Draven, that special one. Now she has no energy, so obviously she wouldn't be able to use it. There we go, and now Harley. There we go, this is going to be huge damage. Or not, because we have zero passive stats. Oh boy. And there goes the reflective shields. There we go, that's a lucky stun, that's definitely a lucky stun. 
And special too, because we, we have a window, because she just used the special and she can't use the shield after she uses the special. There we go, stun. Come on, do something. Not super move. Something, I mean specials. That would be great. I have to use the special one there. If I didn't, it would expire. Yeah, this is awful. You don't even have the dark metal cards area here. Nah, this is this is just terrible. Nah. We're for sure gonna stack that darkness again anytime soon. Yeah, I should have used percentage shell damage, but I did not expect it to be this bad in all honesty. It has no point anymore. Yeah, Raven consumed darkness again. We don't even outpower drain her at this point. Nah. This is just pointless. And reflective shields have always been in soul rates, nothing but a frustrating mechanic. Whatever. Maybe I could have gone Dark Metal cards on Raven and Fatterbox on Harley, though. How, how do I use specials at that point? Oh boy. This is definitely going to be something. So we have an interesting setup here. I'm not going to use Grodd for anything anyway, because I'm not going to use the Batman Ninja team, because they are bugged and they do no lethal damage. So I have Grodd here for power generation. Because we are going to generate power every single hit. You know why that happens? Because there's a Brainiac in there who gives me lethal attack chance and Grodd gives me power generation. Did a couple of hits because this man's got puppets. And this is simply, we're not struggling with power generation, but this can allow me to use the special one a bit faster than usual. Yo, why is my man Brainiac not hitting lethals though? There we go. Seven. This is mainly for percentage hull damage, but I might as well deal a bit of damage in the meantime. If I'm here anyway. Oh, the Brain X swipe seems a bit better, actually. Than before the update. That Batman was definitely faster when I tried to combo and drop there. Right now, I can't do anything but wait for that blind to go away. I actually wish he did more damage to me. Bro, he's so much faster. Hold up. He trapped to the corner again. There we go. And like, then again, I never liked combo and dropping with Zatanna in the first place, so it might be just me being bad. Yeah, here my bads. Thankfully, that was not the blinds. Delay on that special, though, it's fine. It eventually got used.
Yeah, that's as far as it goes here, and that's as far as this count goes. We we made the amazing progress of uh, killing one boss and half another boss. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Like the video if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it. Like the video if you don't like Dawn of Apocalypse, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye!